Hey everyone and welcome to another HT tutorial and in this video um, I was about to do a video on how to change your fonts in Rocket Doc which you can see at the bottom of my screen on a lot of my desktop videos there's this doc or at the top of my screen um, that I have a lot of my icons in so I maintain a perfectly clean desktop but then I was realizing that I didn't show you guys where to get the themes in the first place so this video is going to be um, a video on Defonts, the website where you can download and install free themes for XP, for Vista, for any Windows machine, Windows 7, any Windows operating system. So um, enjoy this tutorial and I hope you enjoy the fonts that you may find or download on this site. Alright, welcome to my desktop. Here you can see at the bottom, this is these are the icons that I was talking about in Rocket Doc. If you haven't already, just go ahead and watch my videos on Rocket Doc, how to download it, customize it, install it, etc. But you see the little theme that actually, the not the theme, but the font that comes up that says Audacity, that says Sony Vegas Pro. By the way, if you want Camtasia Studio 6 or Sony Vegas Pro for free, watch my HD tutorials on how to get those for free. So. Um, we're going to do what we're going to do is go to the fonts. We're going to go um, just open up any web browser that you may prefer and uh, go to any major search engine, whether that's Google or Shiny Search or Apple or whatever. And we're going to type in the font. And this is the website right here, defont.com, where you can get uh, a ton of uh, graffiti art and calligraphy, tons of different fonts and all these different styles where we can uh, select the ones that we want. So first of all, um, I have to mention that these are multi-platform multi downloads, so you can get these fonts on Mac OS X and on your PC. So um, just for any, um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just, I'm not actually going to go up here, but you can use this search box here to search for any uh, style of a font that you might like to find, or uh, look by alphabetical order, or in this whole search guide here. But I'm just going to look at, I like this, say I like this font, Golden Pony. So I'm going to just click on the download button to the right of it. And you can see over here it says download warning. This is a .zip file, okay? But what we're going to be unzipping is the font itself. And Windows Vista actually has the, um, the installation um, of a font built into it. So what we're going to do is open. And it's going to download pretty much instantly since it's a puny file. And you can see it's 57.9 kilobytes. And then what we're going to do is open up the folder in which we just downloaded this, um, this file. So we're going to exit out of our web browser back here so we can see exactly what this is. This is a true type file font. What we're going to do with this font that we just got, again, very small compressed size, is right click it. and No, we're going to extract all files. So just hit the extract all files button and find a place or a location in your directory where you want to install this font. So I'm just going to look through my documents, find maybe a program documents where I like to save a lot of my downloads. So hold on a second, documents, program documents, and hit OK. So this is where we're going to um, uh, leave the button check that says show extract files when complete so you don't even have to look back for it again. It's going to do a quick extraction and then open a new window. So you remember the old name of it was Golden Pony. So we're going to look in the new file for uh, the new folder for Golden Pony. And so it's searching, well, yeah, I didn't exactly find it there, and look for Golden Pony. So I'm just going to look, scroll down until I find it. Maybe you guys see it already? I don't know, I'm kind of blind. But um, here it is, Golden Pony. And as you can see, there are two T's because it's a true type font. Once you have this, right click on it, and there will be an install button right here. This is a key thing in Windows Vista. If you don't have this in the XP, I promise to put in the description... Um, a way to actually install this because you don't have a right click and install option in Windows XP but I will put it in the description how to do this in XP or 98 but in Windows Vista and Windows 7 you just hit this install button and if UAC does pop up, pop up like it just did for me just hit OK so it's currently installed the font is already installed on my PC so now if I were to use it I'll try to pop it up on a preview for you here but that is basically it that is how you install um, any font from you want um, from uh, defont.com again I'll put the link in the description I'll put instructions for older versions of Windows in the description and enjoy your new fonts guys so thanks for watching this one and if you have any more tutorial ideas or requests for me again I do tons of videos and requests and uh, support me by subscribing and help me become a YouTube partner so thanks for watching this one and peace